Hi, and welcome back. My name is Dr. Kat Kesti, and today we're going to talk about ablative versus non-ablative lasers. So let's talk about the basic difference between an ablative laser and a non-ablative laser. An ablative laser is going to turn the skin into laser plume. So it's going to target either the whole skin layer or little holes in the skin, and it's going to heat it so much that it evaporates into the air and gets turned into laser plume or smoke. That's an ablative laser. A non-ablative laser is a laser that still heats the skin in a targeted, controlled manner, but it leaves the skin intact where it is. So when you're talking about a laser column, you know, the skin that's affected by the laser, in an ablative laser, that column is actually gone. It's turned into laser plume. In a non-ablative laser, it's still there in the skin. So either way, when you're talking about something like collagen stimulation with an ablative laser and a non-ablative laser, they still have that same end result of regeneration, rejuvenation, collagen stimulation. It's just a different method. So when you're talking about ablative laser, the most common are going to be CO2 and erbium. Non-ablative lasers are pretty much every other laser. So we're talking about 532, 595, 1064, 1550, 1927, 1540, all of those other lasers. So let's talk about what skin concerns are best addressed by ablative versus non-ablative lasers. When we're talking about ablative lasers, those are going to be the lasers that I reach for to target acne scars, deep wrinkles, overall rejuvenation, and significant sun damage. When we're talking about non-ablative lasers, those can also target those things, but it will take more sessions to get the same result. Non-ablative lasers can also be very specific. So there are a lot of non-ablative lasers that just target pigment or just target red veins on the face or just target veins on the leg. Those are all your non-ablative lasers. So when you're talking about providing lasers for a patient, you wanna have a mix of both ablative and non-ablative options in your practice for the full spectrum of laser care for patients. So let's talk about the downtime for ablative versus non-ablative lasers. And when we didn't have the updated technology that we had now, all ablative lasers had two to four weeks of downtime and all non-ablative lasers had basically no downtime. Now it's different because we have so much better, more precise technology. And I'll give you an example. When you're talking about, let's say, an erbium ablative laser, right? That's erbium and CO2 are ablative lasers. You can do an erbium fully ablative laser on a patient that has two weeks downtime and erases 10 to 20 years off of their face. That's an erbium fully ablative laser. If you change the settings on the same laser, so you're still doing erbium, still fully ablative, you can just shave off the top six microns for a patient and there's no downtime and they get great collagen stimulation. You know, they're not going to get the 10, 20 year rejuvenation like the other type of fully ablative erbium laser, but it's still technically a fully ablative erbium laser just with no downtime. On the other side of that, you know, with 1550, you can have absolutely no downtime. You're red for a little bit and 1550 is going to be our non-ablative fractional laser, you could have absolutely no downtime or you could have, you know, 10 days of downtime with a really aggressive 1550 lasers. When you're talking about downtime with patients, it really depends more on the settings of the laser than the exact laser that you're using. If you're interested in learning more about lasers as a provider and bringing that to your practice, it's really important to understand the full spectrum of lasers. We have all these ablative lasers. We have all these non-ablative lasers. In order to get good results for your patients, in my opinion, you have to both understand what each laser is really good at, the precision of each laser, and then how to combine both the ablative and the non-ablative lasers to get the best results for your patient. And that can look like just doing non-ablative lasers one day and doing ablative lasers the next day, or it could be a combination of ablative and non-ablative lasers on the same day for your patient, just depending on what their cosmetic concerns are and obviously what their downtime is. So let's talk about how to determine whether a patient is a candidate for ablative or non-ablative lasers. 
it really depends on what the patient comes to you for. And I'll give you some examples. If the patient has really deep acne scars, you're unlikely going to be able to get a great result with just the non-ablative lasers. You're going to have to at some point incorporate a couple sessions of the ablative lasers. If a patient comes to you for just red vessels on their face and maybe some rosacea, then probably stay away from the ablative lasers and just go with a non-ablative 532, 1064, maybe even an energy-based device like a BBL for that patient. So I think that's the skill of lasers in general is having the full spectrum of lasers at your practice and being able to kind of pick and choose which laser is the best for that patient in front of you. Thank you so much for listening to my explanation of ablative versus non-ablative lasers. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a DM or leave a comment below. Thank you so much. See you next time.